Ronte Dickerson with Realty One Group. This is the Las Vegas Real Estate Market Report for February 2023. So February was quite a unique month. When we were looking on it at a week by week basis, here's what we saw. At the very beginning of February, prices were escalating up. But then week by week, they were drifting back down. So while you look at the end month result, there's not much change. Unfortunately, there is an underlying change that's getting a little alarming. It seems that going into the last week of February, the median sales price was down by 2% and the average sales price was down by 5%. Meanwhile, in the same time, properties are taking a little bit longer to sell. So let's take a look at the facts and figures here in the Las Vegas Real Estate Market Report for February 2023. Yes, Las Vegas was quite active in the month of February. We ended with 4,665 houses available. The median sales price closed went down to 424,995 and the effective availability ended at 2.7 months. For condominiums and townhomes, we ended with 1,155 available. Median closed sales price was at 255,000 and the effective availability was 2.6 months. Getting a little bit deeper, we see trends are developing. Looking at single family houses, we see that the number of closings was 1,722, which was up 30% from the prior month, but the median closed price had dropped to 424,995. However, looking on a week-by-week -week basis, we see that towards the end of the month, prices dropped 5% from the beginning of the month. Now, the number of new listings was down 9.4% to 2,243, and the availability was down 14.4% to 4,665. Looking at the effective availability on the marketplace, we now have 2.7 months of inventory, which should be a buyer's market. However, the lack of buyers in the market is creating less of a buying frenzy. Looking at the homes that actually do close escrow, we see that 41.1% of all homes that sell are selling in 30 days or less. Meaning, if you want your home sold, price it right on the first day. Don't wait six weeks or three months down the line. That is a huge mistake in today's marketplace. Looking at condominiums and townhomes, we see that we had 450 closings in the course of the month. The median closing price was $255,000, about the same as last month. Now, as far as the number of new listings, we had 616, down 3.3% from the previous month. And the availability was 1155 down 6.3% from the previous month. Looking at the effective availability, we were at 2.6 months, which again, should be a buyer's market, but the lack of buyer demand right now is keeping us out of that frenzy. Of all the condominiums and townhomes that sell, we see that 49.3% of them are selling in the first 30 days. The people that are making the mistakes are the ones that are overpricing at the beginning. To illustrate this point, let's take a look at the previous seven days in the marketplace. We see in the last seven days, 856 homes sold in the Las Vegas area, 1,424 came on the market, 1,049, nearly double the ones that sold, are having price decreases because they were priced too high, and 544 homes expired off the market because they were priced too high. There's a trend going on. The smart sellers are seeing this and taking advantage of it. For more information about how this may affect you and your Las Vegas properties, give me a call. Rocky Dickerson at 702-743-7625. Email rocky at rockysellsvegas.com and please subscribe to my video channel.